Hey tubes. I'm gonna uh, tear down the top end of this because two reasons. Um, I'm gonna do a top end rebuild while well, just change the rings anyway because it has has really bad compression. And the muffler is really loud and I wanna change that. And as you might be able to tell, I welded it because I was driving it and the other day uh, it broke at the weld that a muffler shop put on there because it had no penetration and I'm glad I I spot welded a little or not spot weld but I kind of tacked a little place on the bottom because it was leaking a, a, a tiny bit and you know that's anything that kept the muffler from falling off so you know I welded it around there but I'm going to try to get a different muffler and attempt to get rings from the salvage yard and if they don't have them uh, they're like 8 bucks online plus shipping it's cheap Chinese crap and then the shifter from my bike I want to get a folding shifter so this muffler if you have one of these engines there won't be bolts going all the way through here but I was having problems with the muffler loosening <clears throat> I tried a bunch of things and the best option was just to get these bolts and they have some lock nuts on there not sure if those actually do anything because the heat treating is ruined by the muffler by the heat on there but anyway Got the muffler off, and uh, what you do is take an Allen wrench. This happens to be four millimeter. Um, stick it down in here, and sometimes you need a wrench, but you can uh, turn it and you just undo all of these. And what I've been thinking about is trying to buy like a Allen wrench screwdriver for this because it would make it a lot faster. And so you just undo this, all of them, and then I'll restart the camera when uh, when I get them all out. Sometimes it's a good idea to take this spark plug off and check it, change it, or clean it. Um, but this one's brand new, so I know it's good. Now I've loosened all four bolts that hold the cylinder down, and. What I would do if this was if this had the stock air filter, I would take the carb off. But since I have this thing on there, it's it's pretty difficult to take the to remove the carburetor. So basically now you just pull the thing off. And this gasket on here is for a water pump. And it's terrible, so I don't think I'm gonna change that with some some of that gasket paper that I used as the cylinder base gasket on the Kawasaki and uh, let me check this out there's some scoring in here uh, but it's pretty smooth like I can feel a tiny bit right here um, barely any carbon on on the head, like almost nothing in the exhaust port. Um, so that looks pretty good. I'm gonna probably hone that out some. The piston, I'm gonna wire brush that, and the rings. I mean, everything looks decent. It's just, I mean, there's some. Little bit of this looks kind of like pitting here, but well, that's all right. And uh, these rings, they look great, but I mean, this just has terrible compression, so they're worn out. You know, to remove those, my method. Actually, I'm gonna remove the piston first. So.
show you this. I usually use a pair of pliers without a any edges like this has. No, basically you just take these circlips out. Okay, I got the circlips out. Now what I'm gonna do is to take a small socket. I'm gonna use a small deep socket. Oops. So, hopefully you saw that fine. <sighs> ah, crap. Look what I just did. Oh well. Um, the... Hmm. I mean, the wrist pin seems fine. It looks... Looks fine. Can't feel enough. Can't feel anything at all on it, so that's good. Needle bearing looks fine, also. So I just I like to put that in there like that, and uh, just piston. Kind of don't like it, but uh, actually I'm gonna clean this piston up. Alright tubes, you can see there's some scoring on this piston, and it's, sh it's shiny right here on the skirt, on this is the intake side, on the exhaust side there's a bunch of marks on here, these are all from, these were all here the before I took it off the scooter. Um, this is from using Mag 1 oil, and that's why I hate it. Or at least that's what I blame it on. And... So I'm gonna take these rings off. I'll just take one off, but what you wanna do... You wanna clean out these ring grooves. And I'm going to wire brush this, so I'm actually going to take both rings off. And you should keep track of the one. These, this side goes up, so it fits on the pins, like so. And make sure they're top and bottom. These might be specific, I'm not sure. But I'll just keep them that way. And if I can't find rings at the salvage yard, I'm going to get a new piston also. And that's the end of this video.